Hey what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to Xbox On. Now Far Cry 5 is upon us so we thought we'd give you 8 killer tips and tricks to help you get ahead in Far Cry 5. If you want to head above the tree line and get some amazing views of Montana early on, there are several flying vehicles parked around the map. Here at Greenbush Fertilizer Co is where you can find a chopper and here at the Grandview Hotel is where you can get a seaplane both completely free of charge. Just hop in and fly away to live your dreams. However, if you'd prefer to actually have access to your own private jet, all you need to do is visit this hangar. Its door is locked so you have to find a way onto the roof and drop in through the open skylight. Now you can do this the recommended way and climb this radio tower with the grappling hook before gliding across with your parachute. Or if you haven't unlocked the grappling hook yet, you could simply parachute out of one of those planes that you stole before. All you need to have done for the second option is to have unlocked the parachute perk which literally only costs a single perk point and you'll have your very own fighter jet. Use it to unveil more of the map, shoot down enemy air support and look out the window at the lovely scenic views. Now that you've got a plane, you'll want to visit Raptor Peak next because there are a fair few goodies up there and the best thing is this pile of money and grab it all because you know what? You've earned it. And if that wasn't worth the trip up here alone, there are more things to make Raptor Peak worth your while, and that is the herds of bison roaming around. Every bison you kill grants you $200 a pop when you sell their skin to shopkeepers. You only need to get a few and you'll be rolling in it. Combine that with the piles of cash that you found earlier, and not to mention the gorgeous view, and Raptor Peak is a great early location to visit in Far Cry 5. Oh, and the way down is spectacular. There are dozens of perks to unlock in Far Cry 5, and they change your experience considerably, letting you do things like rig vehicles to blow, hold your breath longer underwater, and take down multiple foes in a row. Doing challenges to unlock perk points speeds up the process dramatically. For example, if you do the challenge to kill three enemies with proximity mines, you'll earn two perk points to spend on perks. Or if you find and skin a pronghorn, you'll earn another perk point. There are so many challenges ranging from hunting animals to killing with specific weapons, which means that you're constantly earning rewards while you're playing the game, and always be going after specific challenges and you'll be racking enough perk points up to become a force to be reckoned with. A perk that I personally love is Vehicle Buster. Now, Vehicle Buster makes your bullets do loads more damage to vehicles, so simply whip out your pistol or SMG and go to town on anything with an engine. A few bursts and it'll erupt in flames before blowing up. And if you want to destroy vehicles even more quickly, however, there's a way. Purchase the Black Market perk and this will unlock the ability to buy special ammo in shops. Visit a shop, get some armor piercing rounds for your weapon of choice, and it will be absolutely potent against vehicles when you've got the Vehicle Buster perk as well. New Eden won't know what hit them. They'll also need a new insurance plan. Sure, you could spend 800 on a fishing rod, or you could do a mission and get an even better one for free. The mission in question is pretty hard to find. It's here at Dylan's Master Bait Shop. This is where you meet Skylar, who will take you on a mini fishing adventure, where the first part involves catching fish with her at the lake. Later in the mission, you have to venture off on your own and catch three different types of fish. Those fish are the sturgeon, which you can find here, the bass, which is here, and the trout, which is here. To make life a little easier, unlock the Fisher King perk for four points, which unlocks new types of flies in the utility wheel, so you've got more chance of landing specific types of fish. See the mission through to completion, and you'll get the Wonder Boy Rod, which is the second best rod in the entire game. If you want to make the most stylish entrance possible, you'll need the Airdrop perk. This gives you the option to arrive by air when you fast travel to a location. It's amazing! So much better than running to it on your stupid legs and rubbish feet. To actually get access to purchasing the airdrop perk, you'll first need to buy both the parachute and wingsuit. 
Together, they only cost 5 perk points, so you can do this pretty early on. By pressing the left stick and switching from the parachute to wingsuit in mid-flight, you can cover more distance, and means that you can really cross large portions of the map. I personally would recommend using airdrop when assaulting outposts, because you can pick the exact spot that you want to set up and survey the area before getting stuck in. Just remember to actually open your parachute when airdropping, or this happens. Far Cry 5 self-driving cars really let you multitask, freeing up your hands so you can focus on shooting passing animals and chucking things out of the window. All you have to do to enable it is to click the left stick in, and your ride will follow the road automatically, and if you've dropped a marker on the map, your vehicle, whether it's a car, truck or ATV, will head there by default. And even if you do enable auto drive, you can still use the left stick to maneuver around debris in the road, and you can also use right trigger and left trigger to speed up and slow down. It's a great feature that lets you keep your vehicle on the road as cultists attack, rather than barreling straight into a tree. Also, make sure to hold the D-pad right to call over your assigned follower, and they'll hop in the passenger seat to double your firepower. Your AI follower is incredibly helpful. Not only will they kill anyone you select by using left on the D-pad without asking why, but they'll earn rewards for you while doing it. Jim Conway here actually brings me gifts of mustard seeds and prickly lettuce, which I can use in crafting. Thanks, Jim. Although he comes under the gun for higher bracket, he's classified as a fighter because he's someone who I found randomly out in the field and rescued. The other sort of gun for hire is classified as a specialist, which you unlock through a mission. Specialist perks are always unlocked immediately, whereas fighter perks are unlocked when you reach a set number of kills with them. You can mix and match fighters in your roster, adding or removing them as you see fit. And if you've got the leadership perk, you can actually have two gun for hires at once. Check out my bear and mountain lion combo. So there we have it, some nice handy tips and tricks to give you that head start you need in Far Cry 5. Do make sure to share your own down in the comments below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and smash that like button if that's what you're into, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!